Darren Brown here from ICU in Queensland on the Sunshine Coast. Hey, question. How do you know if your child has a learning problem that's related to their vision? Well, given that vision is the dominant sense in the classroom with over 80% of all information coming in through the visual gate, then it's the obvious place to start if your child is struggling at school with their learning, with their reading, writing or spelling. So I'm going to give you some of the symptoms that you could possibly see. And if you check off two or three of these, then you definitely need to get your child's vision checked. Here's some of the symptoms. First of all, does your child suffer from sore, red or itchy eyes? Do you see them rubbing their eyes? Do their eye movements seem to jerk when they follow something? Do you see them squinting? Do you see them rubbing their eyes or blinking a lot, particularly late in the day? Do they complain of blurred vision, things going foggy or blurry? Or do they say sometimes things split into two and go double? Do they suffer from headaches, dizziness, nausea or anything like that? That could indicate eye strain. Does their head tilt as they read? Do they hold the book close or do they trombone, which is hold the book close, further away, close, further away? like a trombone. Other things, the number one symptom that I see for kids with learning problems is do they suffer from poor concentration? Are they easily distracted? When you sit down to do homework, does your homework look like this? Hey Johnny, let's sit down and do homework. What are you doing now? I'm getting a drink. Now get back here and do your work. What do you do now? I'm going to the toilet. Now get back here and do your work. What are you doing now? I have to shut my pants. Now get back here and do your work. Does homework time finish with you screaming at one another? Or does it finish with one, either you or your child, walking away in disgust? Do they frequently lose their place when they're reading? Do they omit or insert different things in, when they're reading letters or words? Do they say a word, they say the right letters at the start, then make up the second half of the word? Do they confuse similar looking words? Do they fail to recognize a word that they saw in the previous sentence when they get to it in the following sentence? Do they fail to recognize it? How frustrating is that? Dude, you just told me what the word was, now you reckon you don't know what it is. Those are the sorts of things that we see with a visual related learning problem. Is your child smart at everything at school except reading and writing? That's a dead set giveaway because they're good at, if they're good at maths that means their brain is fantastic. Reading is mechanical. It's not a measure of intelligence. Plenty of stupid people read and plenty of smart people struggle to read. Trust me, it's not a measure of intelligence. It's a mechanical process and we can set it up right using lenses and vision therapy so that they can read effectively. So a dead set giveaway is if your child is smart at everything else but poor at reading. Do they have a low self-esteem, a poor self-image or are they sensitive to failure? Kids who start to fail and do badly at school are very sensitive to that. They're almost expecting themselves to fail and they're down on themselves because of it. Do you see tempers or flare-ups, aggressiveness, frustration when they're doing their homework? Do they throw the pen down in disgust and say, oh, I'm over this, why should I have to do this dumb stuff? Do they have a short attention span when they're doing homework in particular? Do they float off? Some kids will get up and walk away, other kids will just float off into the never-never. Hmm, thinking deep thoughts. Are they thinking deep thoughts? No, they're just, flo they're just dreamy. McDreamy, floating away. Are they irritable? Are they daydreaming? And finally, is your child labelled any of the following? Lazy, dyslexic, attention deficit disorder, a slow learner. Maybe they 